So today I'm going to show you how to make resin and to make this beer coaster. So this one's from my friend. Let me say di different bottle cups. So this one's a hexagon. So let's make this one together. So we've got a set of two. So grab your nail clipper and just fold over the bottle caps. Simple as, enjoy the quick time lapse. <laughs> just wanted to show you guys for a quick second. I've made this one and I never thought I could do this, but I've experimented. So I've actually done a real wax melt, you know, and then you put the stamp on it and mix a pattern. So I've made that and it's actually in resin. And this is a hundred year old vintage newspaper. So I've cut it up. What I did is laminate it. So 10 shillings. <laughs> do we have shillings anymore, do we? So laminated it. I did the back in grey. So if you are interested in a video of this, just comment down below and I'll make a video on how I did this vintage newspaper. And I'm guessing you can do all sorts of things. Just laminate it, pull it in the resin, job done, basically. But it took me about three days. So if you do want the full um, video of me making one, or we'll do one for you, if you just comment down below. Okay, plodding on, let's make this coaster. So hey guys. So what I'm doing next is I just poured in 30 mils in here for the hardener and the resin. And then in a see-through cup, so you can see when it's clear, so keep stirring for three minutes. Please wear gloves um, and what else do we wear? Oh yeah, mask, obviously. <laughs> and then what I've done is I've just poured in my paints that I want to use, which is the green, to mimic the coaster. So yeah, I'll get back to you in three minutes so far. I've poured in some of the resin. A coaster with all the resin paint and fill it right up. You can make whatever pattern you like in any colours. It's really, really fun. There we go, and just leave it to dry and it should sit like this one. See you in a moment. <laughs> 